Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Scott 35 Cards. Let's talk. I uh, really don't have much to say uh, tonight. I was, uh, again, sorry Nina, I was going to do that. I would do uh, show how I store cards, you know, my whole steps from pack to the rack back there. Uh, let's see, and just, you know, talk about how I kind of just go through in my thought process and uh, items I use and, and how I, uh, you know, display stuff in my room and how I decide, you know, it might be a little bit longer. Um, it's not gonna be a full blown like room tour, not in my room is kind of destroyed in places right now, um, redoing things. So that's my idea for next week. I am uh, tossing around the idea to have some people on for like the first uh, weekend of next year uh talk about some topics from this past year next year if you have a topic you would like uh to be discussed and jump in and are y'all interested in that being live or not uh let me know uh i've been tossing around start doing some live ones um you know, I, I just don't know because, you know, sometimes I get a hundred, you know, some views, which is great for me. I, I'm happy with one person. Um, you know, last week's, uh, I thought I'd get a lot because it's a hot topic right now, controversial. And, you know, I only got 40 views or whatever. So, and only a few people even, uh, you know, put down anything. So. And, but it was good for, good for me to get it off my chest and, uh, you know, and any feedback or just, I, I'm glad I got 40 people to look at it. That's how I feel. Uh, but I've been, uh, let me stop rocking. I'm getting motion sickness. Uh, I've been opening up some boxes and getting some few retail, not a lot. Uh, my LCS had some holiday and he wasn't over killing the prices so i did get a box of that and uh i did pull i just wanted to show this because the whole time i was like oh they got the ornament in there i hope i get the pete alonzo and boom i set it and got it i mean it was great uh nothing else really major in there um uh, i think i hit the bryce harper uh the uh carrying the bag uh but, you know, I, I, I don't like this year's holiday. It's too busy uh, with the ornament things going down, down the middle. Uh, it's just way too much going on. It makes it even harder to read it uh, for me. I, I don't like a lot of stuff going on on the cards. I just want the card. Uh, but I, I just think it's a fun rip, you know, with the different Christmas stuff. And I think you only got one uh, variant in the the mega box and i think in years past you got several and i got four i guess the silver foil is guess what they call it um and none of them were i mean albert pool holtz was probably the best one i pulled uh of those but i did open up a box of uh mosaic today i did all right uh not a lot of shine i did get a kellenic uh prism out of it uh silver so uh i was happy with that and uh and you know just been doing things like that and just enjoying the hobby uh right now you know i got my caps hat on i you know they played last night i'm doing this saturday night i didn't even watch uh, i didn't realize they were going until a little bit later uh just you know worked overtime yesterday and I don't know. I'm just not feeling it right now. Uh, just enjoying it. I've been doing a lot more of my non-sports. Uh, I got another video coming out this week. Uh, and then, you know, that'll be another six, seven months before another do another one of those. Uh, but, you know, I, I just, uh, that, you know, been doing other stuff. This year, you know, as a baseball guy, this time of year kind of slows down. You know, the football season's winding down. Um, you know, college is over. I don't really like the college format. It really drives me crazy. Um, 
uh, get in at another day. Uh, you know, I, I just, uh, the, the, the big ones, I, for some reason, the, the top one can't do the same as every other division does for a playoff. It kind of gets me a little angry, but, uh, not angry. I, no reason to get angry over something that doesn't affect me, but just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, but other than that, just getting along, I, I you know, really haven't heard much this week of uh, any news in a hobby. I, you know, same old stuff. And, uh, you know, <sighs> prices seems to be leveling out a little bit. Like I said before, love the baseball card market because uh, we didn't go for the overpriced boxes. And, you know, and I, I got a high number today for SRP off of tops.com. So, and I think they still got tops up or update on there. Um, a little, little overpriced on, even on their website, but it's on there. Um, you know, and you, even on the, the big three, you know, on online baseball, it's not too, too terribly overpriced. The, you know, Bowman is crazy and some of the other stuff, but it's it's starting to, you know, love a lot. I, I think everybody's, you know, on the baseball side just knows better. And, you know, I, I, I saw a notification or a question in one of my groups today about did they overpay or pay too much for a prospect, you know, short print um color you know autograph of bowman and uh you know first off i i believe if you're okay with paying the price that you pay for it you didn't overpay but you know you have to understand baseball it takes time for these players it's not you know a lot of these people that went into the baseball prospect and they went into it like it was football or basketball where they get drafted and they're playing, you know, the majors and it doesn't work that way. It takes a couple of years, at least even for the big names, uh, you know, but you get past the first, second round, those guys are usually in the minors for, you know, four or five years. And then a lot of the Hispanic or people that come from other countries, they get drafted at 16, 17 and 18, like Jason Dominguez. He, he might be six years before he sees Major League Baseball field. Um, it's a lot to learn for those guys. Uh, not only being in a new country, but just it's a different way of playing the sport and uh, just learning the everyday grind that they might not have had where they played at before. And being young, they just got to grow into it. And, you know, it, it's not... You know, they're paying $5,000 for this autograph of a first rounder or second rounder. And then they're like, oh, he should be playing next year. And, and it, <laughs> most likely it's not going to happen. So, or, you know, like they come up and then it, like Kellenick couldn't get his groove and they sent him back down and, you know, came back up and actually finished the season pretty well. But he plays in Seattle and, you know, it, it's, you know, it. it with those, you know, the true collector knows, you know, to me, Bowman has always been, a, you know, an afterthought. I get these players and, you know, I have to look at it years later. I mean, I, I actually pulled some Aaron Judge first cards out, what, 2018? And I was like, didn't even know I had them. Uh, I don't know if they were Bowman first cards or I had a an autograph that I sold and, and something else. And I didn't even, when I, I remember pulling it going, who the hell is Aaron Judge? You know, it's just how it is. And, you know, unless you're reading baseball prospectus or baseball digest, and I do go on and look at, you know, top hundred prospects and at least read them. Uh, I'll go through the Mets and some other teams just to see who they have, you know, but, you know, unless you're, I mean, there's people out there that were religious about the minor leagues and know what's going on, but, uh, you know, when it comes to the sport and, you know, pr prospecting for future, 
I, I think people have learned, you know, it took, it took a minute, but I think they learned it's not the same as basketball or football. It's just not. It's not as instantaneous, and you just have to be patient. Um, and, and people need to hold on to rookie cards and first, you know, if you want to, you know, just see what they do. Uh, for me, I'm not, you know, some of the rookies I do hold on if I feel like, like right now, I'm just in a Jake Cronenworth craze here since, you know, late last season or middle of last season. I, I don't know. I just started having a belief that this guy is good and I, I he did well I mean he's just overshadowed on that team but uh you know I, I think this guy's got a big future and you know uh and his cards are cheap so it's not like I'm breaking the bank uh you know and I I, I collect Pete Alonzo uh Pete Alonzo I collect his rookie card here he is going into what his fourth season and you know, he's only been on one all-star team, and he's won a, a batting uh, home run title twice. And, you know, he does that more to for his bank account because he's on a rookie contract, and he wasn't drafted highly. So I think he's around league minimum, and, uh, you know, which I would love to make a league minimum. <laughs> but I think I talked a little bit about like that last week. But, you know, that's... For me, uh, you know, and I, I'm gonna use, I, I'm gonna answer on his, and I, I'm gonna do a little verbal. I think he watches most of this. Uh, oh, uh, Westergriff had a great question. On, I hope he keeps doing this. Made me think. Um, you know, why do we listen to the hobby? Um, took me a minute to kind of figure out what he was saying. I guess. You know, it's the old zig when everybody zags. Why are you zagging with everybody else? You know, if somebody's hot, you know, somebody says they're hot, why are you going to purchase it? You know, I'm not that way. I just told you I've been hot on Jake Cronenworth. I, I can't reason it. I I just like the way this guy plays. And, you know, of course, I collect the Fernando Tatis as well. But, you know, I don't go out of my way. I, I just tend to get them um, when they pop up uh, you know P lines of Mets cards you know I, I went and got a Clemente this year and it seemed like everybody was getting it and I felt like man am I getting it because everybody else is getting it or I really like this guy I did a book report of him when I was a kid you know and I've read I got I think every house that's a baseball fan has the same biography of Clemente I got right over here on my bookshelf and he's got a great story and a terrible ending and uh, you know it's just I, I love the man and the player so you know I, I, I when he's asked that that was the first thing that popped in my mind was man did I buy that because I was hot doing with a hobby saying or or what you, you really don't know right it's a subliminal thing it's a it's kind of like what triggers that thought process and and i and i'm hoping he's thinking more because somebody uh in one of my uh groups has pointed out that uh one of the biggest of the you know this card is hot this week guys and you know, it has its own graphs and everything. If you take five seconds to think who I'm talking about, uh, you probably know. But I guess they've, you know, the last few cars he's been talking about have been steadily dropping and all this stuff. You know, and, you know, I've been saying all along, it's a pump and dump. You know, they could, you got millions of people to watch you and you got a car that's dropping. Why wouldn't you say it's a good car to buy right now? Because if everybody goes out and buys it, that car goes up. In value and you sell it and everybody's holding on you know they're the last ones holding the bag so I, I'm thinking that's what he's talking about with the hobby and you know I, I never do that um, I think once the card starts going up you're too late you're you miss that boat and try to hop on the next one and uh, I don't I don't do, play that game anyway I, I collect Gary Carter's as you can see here I mean I, I don't go after the big boys I, I've always liked the guy in the background. Uh, well, Gary Carter was never in the background, but I just kind of always liked the hard-nosed 
player that, you know, I love linemen and football. I, I just, that's how I am. And, but anyway, I babbled enough. Uh, you know, let's see how everybody's doing. Hope everybody's staying warm. Got hit with a little ice and snow here in the northern Iowa this weekend. Um, but it wasn't too bad. Went north of us, so Minnesota got smacked from the way it sounds. Uh, so please take care of one another. Be 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 good to each other. Uh, let's pump each other up out there. Enjoy what we have. And, uh, you know, I've been hobbying in other places. Sometimes you just kind of got to do it to get, re, re, you know, rejuvenated, re aggravated, you know, and just kind of, you know, get back into it. I, I still buy into some baseball, but I've really slowed down here in the last month or so. Um, so until next time, like, share, leave a comment on anything that I babbled about tonight. Until next time, see ya.